Well, hi, Benny Blanco on Mustang Double A Point. Oh man, you look great. What's been good? Oh my God, it's it's been a crazy year, but we're here. I'm here with you. I couldn't be happier with you. <laughs> I mean, you know, wherever. I mean, unconventional, sure. But like the best thing about this year, I think, like if you can't get to an interview, you take the interview to you. What do you think? Yeah, I know. That's the best part about it. <laughs> so you've been enjoying yourself, staying at home. You've been super productive, by the way. I'm trying. Uh, yeah, I mean, look, it's crazy out here. We're we're still in a we're in a lockdown. Are you guys in a lockdown? Yes, but we're allowed to go to the office. Well, I'm I'm in my office right now. So if I can't bring the studio to me, uh, if I can't go to the studio, I bring the studio to me, right? Oh. <laughs> Um, uh, so no, it's been interesting, you know, it's very different and especially for the creative process and doing music and putting music out and it's been different. No, but I love that, um, as I said before, this is a possibility, perhaps I would have had to wait for you to come to Indonesia and now that this is happening that we can do this virtually. But for me personally, it's not just the artists that I get to connect with, but you are one of the minds behind, be, behind some of the biggest songs out there right now. I mean, seriously, man, I am a huge fan of your songs, of you. And I'm glad that two years ago, you decided to put your name on your songs in it as well. So ha have you... Do you still have favorites? If you know, if, when, when somebody asks you, what's all out of all the songs that you've released before, do you still have any favorites? It, it's so funny because, because like, okay, so at the end of the day, I'm just a fan. So I'm a fan of music. So it's like when you listen to a song, when I make the song, I'm like, oh, this reminds me of that time where I did this or where I did that. And like, you know, it's like you might hear a song and you might go, oh my God, I remember I danced with this boy in seventh grade and it was like my first dance and I was so nervous and then we kissed. And um, it's the same thing for me. When I write the song, it has such a memory and moment attached to it that like every one of the songs in the moment are like my favorite song because I'm like, oh my God, I just got broken up with, I gotta write this song. Oh my God, I just uh, I just ate the best meal and I'm so happy I gotta write this song. And, and they've just all been little, they, they've been the soundtrack to my life. You know, the songs that I make, they're part of me, you know? So each one is so special. I can't pick favorites, it's like my children. But Okay, everyone sing, every single one is special for you, but is there a lyric quote out of some of your songs that you always remember? Like, it, it's always in the top of your head. It was such a catchy, perhaps, line or something. I, I'm just curious because you, you've written so many really, really good songs. Honestly, I get reminded. Like, sometimes, like, when I'll be in a store and they'll be, like, playing one of the songs, I'll be like, oh, my God, that's a good lyric. I'll be like, oh, wow, I did that song. Like, honestly, I'm so, like, you know, I, I'm making so much music that I honestly, sometimes I, I'm like, did I do this song? Like, I at, like I'll ask someone. I'll, I've, I've shazammed my own song before. I've, like, had to check to see if, like, one of my songs was my song. Because it's, like, so old. Like, it's old. I've been making music professionally for, like, 15 years. So it's, like, you forget them. Man, I mean, you have you have a lot of songs out, and I mean, um, let's talk about you, you though, as you know, putting your name to your songs. When I mean, Eat Side came out, that officially was your first Benny Blanco song. I always felt like, as a songwriter, there must be something super selfless about you, right? To write, produce a song and get to release it under somebody else's name. What made you decide? All right, now is the time. I'm gonna put Benny Blanco and release this song. Okay. So here's my best example for it. Ooh. Like, okay, let's say I work at an Italian restaurant, okay? Mm. Mm. And I make pasta every night and I make the best pasta. I put the little cheese on it. I got the sauce, I do it. And the guy right next to me, he's on the line. He makes pizza every night. So if we're sitting there for 10 years and I see him to the right of me and I say, man, I want to make a pizza. So like one day I just decided to make a pizza. And for me, it's just like this. 
it's like when you make a song for someone so let's say you write a song for somebody else the singer you write it with them once you give the artist that song they're in control of everything and i wanted to try the process of being like i want to make this video like this i want to do the marketing like this i think it would be good if the artwork looked like that and i was like before i die i gotta try it so I oh man it. no <laughs> How how is it going for you? I mean, um, I'm I'm gonna skip straight away to Lonely because that's like the perfect 360 package example, right? Recently, so you wrote the song with Justin. It's a very personal song, and how it's when I listen to the song, I feel like Justin was pouring his heart out. It was like a diary entry. Do you guys work for, with the lyrics and the song from day one, or do you come up with the beats first and he with the lyrics? And I also heard you actually directed music video as well so talk to me about this 360 package benny blanco experience that you've had recently with lonely so okay so i've known justin since 2009 we've made mm -hmm. so many songs together i've seen him at the beginning i've seen the best i've seen the worst of him i've seen all sides of it so i feel like right off the bat like if we were in other people i don't know if this song would have been able to happen because it's like you got to be vulnerable you got to be open you got to be able to express yourself and trust the person you're writing that song with so like for me and him to to be able to to get that moment in time and with phineas we wrote it with as well and and he's friends with justin too and he's a good friend of mine and it was one of those moments that I feel like just wouldn't have happened if we didn't have that connection. And and then we make the song and then Justin is like, man, can I even release this song? Like, do people want to hear this from me? Is, 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 you know, he was nervous. And then I'm so happy he put it out because, you know, it's just, it's one of those songs where it's just a great reminder to be like, it's okay to be sad. It's okay to feel lonely. It's okay to have a bunch of people around you and still feel like you have no one around you. And mm -hmm. if Justin Bieber feels like that, then, and he and he's, you know, one of the biggest artists in the world, then it's okay that I feel like that. And it's okay that you feel like that. And it's, uh, you know, and then, uh, you know, when we finally finished it, we decided we were going to put it out we decided to make the video and my mm. well my my friend really directed the video his name's jake he's incredible i just we just help each other come up with the ideas and we do all all of my music videos we do together and he's he's incredible there's nobody better than him in the mm. world and you know justin like you know just it was actually going to be justin as the little uh as, as instead of jacob who's the little boy who plays yeah. it and then last minute justin was like yo no it would be such a good idea if we had me looking at my younger self and he came up with that last minute and then it was just so emotional when we were doing it and and honestly it it, it was it was such a such a moment that i couldn't even be replicated if we tried you know no, no need to replicate. We can see it. I mean, I have to be honest. I saw the music video and I had I had to I had to look for tissues because, you know, I think it's also so fitting. It's an era for Justin where he's really opening up. So I think you guys, you know, you you tackled a perfect, perfect moment. I mean, watching the music video, I was like, man, what does it feel like to be Justin? seeing this little boy who seemed to be acting him so flawlessly <laughs> you know what i mean yeah, was that yeah, like yeah. a special note while you guys were shooting no no and dude when when justin was looking at the boy he was like what he's like me like he thought he was looking at a mirror he was like what? he got emotional he he was crying when he because he was like this is so crazy and surreal mm. to see myself that's a really good acting from Jacob. Uh, his, his name is Jacob Tremblay, right? It's an amazing yeah, yeah, yeah. young actor. He's amazing, incredible. Amazing. Incredible. So 
from Justin, you know, I love how you are always able to bring out the best in your partners and songwriting. Like that one time you highlighted, I found you with um, Kevin Harris. That you know, Kevin Harris is actually a really good singer. <laughs> But your your most recent um, collaboration hits home because you re-release in honor of his would have been 22nd birthday song by Juice World. Um, he's obviously gone way too soon, but I don't think us, as you know, ha- not having connected with him before, I don't think us as somebody in the industry actually realized the loss and impact of somebody like Juice World. He he was changing the industry, and what do you think about base? You know, what do you think about Juice World? And you released this song again, and why did you do it in honor of his birthday? Perhaps if you could have a, you know, your words. Man, he, uh, you know, Juice, Juice was such a, you know, he impacted the world so much in such a short period of time. And this was actually the first song we ever recorded. And, and you know, I met him and when I first met him, I, you know, one of my friends played me his song and And I was just like, who is this? And he was like, I don't know. I think it's some guy named Juice or something. And the song wasn't out yet. And I was like, who is this? I have to work with this person. And I looked online and I found his Instagram and he had 9,000 followers at the time. And I was yep. like, oh my God, I got to work with this guy. I hit him up and I was like, I got to work with you. And he was like, okay, cool, let's do it. And then he was like, I'm coming to LA in a week. We got in the studio. He didn't even have a record deal. All the labels were there trying to sign him. And I was like, I got in with him and he got into the booth and I turned on the first beat. And not only did he like come up with melody and lyric, he did it all the first take, the first thing that came out of his mouth. And he recorded the whole song top to bottom and, and, and just, did it six times in a row we did six songs in like an hour and that was the first time we worked and i was like and everybody was just like what and i knew he was going to be one of the biggest artists ever i mean yeah that's just like one reason why he is the real deal i mean that song though it's really good do you have more songs uh unreleased with juice world and are you planning to you know perhaps release them slowly Oh my God, we did so many songs. I, honestly, it's just whatever, you know, his family and his team wants. And I mean, he made so many songs and he, and he, and you know, I'm just, I'm happy just to be a part of it and be a part of his legacy and, and, and what he's created. And, and, you know, you know, more than anything, more than the songs, I just miss, I miss my friend, you know, he was a great guy, incredible guy. All right, I just have two short questions for you to close up our very interview. I mean, I love hearing from you because it's like you're the minds behind so many big songs in the last 15 years that you've seen yourself. I'm a huge fan of yours. And so the end of the year is approaching. How would you love to top or end 2020 with a high note a la Benny Blanco? And what would you love to say to your fans here in Indonesia? Oh my gosh, all my fans in Indonesia, I love you guys. I can't believe it that, you know, I, I was just looking, I was like, oh my God, my songs are so big in Indonesia. And like, there's so many people and I've never even been to Indonesia and it's yeah. so crazy. And and thank you for listening to my music. And if I can do it, you definitely can because I, I'm not even good. And you guys are all better than me and you should follow your dreams. And for uh, the end of the year, um, I'd love to, be able to find you know time you know it's hard to spend time with our family because of covid mm-hmm. and if i could spend time with them and everyone have like a happy and really safe holiday and wear your masks and stay safe and hopefully this vaccine happens soon so we all can yes. um, get back to normal life Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you so thank much. And you. also for reminding everybody that it, we're still in the middle of a war against COVID-19 and to really, really mind the health protocol. So thank you so much for your time, Benny. It's such an honor to talk to you. Thank you. Thank you.